which histological pattern is shown in this image? This is a basically histology from your endometrium. So the endometrial appearance in proliferative phase, in secretory phase, this is very characteristic, high potential MCQ question as well. So you have proliferative phase where you get this tall, narrow, tubular glands. And the stroma is also tightly packed. Yes, this tall, narrow, tubular glands, this is basically your proliferative phase. Let's compare it with the secretory phase. The next two images are from secretory phase. Secretory phase, the typical image you will see here. What do you see here? This you have this torches, irregular corkscrew shaped glands. This irregular corkscrew shaped glands, which is seen, that is seen in case of your secretory phase. Secretory phase. Tall narrow tubular glands, proliferative torches, irregular corkscrew shaped glands. Corkscrew shaped glands are seen in secretory phase. What do you see in this image? This is early secretory phase. Just after ovulation, in the early secretory phase, early secretory phase, what is the first pathological change that you will notice? Can you appreciate these white, white areas just below the nucleus? Yes, this is known as subnuclear vacuolations. What is the first histopathological change that is seen post ovulation? Or what is the change that is seen in early secretory phase? It is subnuclear vacuolations. Subnuclear vacuolations. What is the reason for subnuclear vacuolations? This is basically due to glycogen deposits. This is due to your glycogen deposit. Yes, this is due to glycogen deposits. So here the correct answer, again, you can appreciate that all narrow tubular glands. This is basically your proliferative phase, proliferative phase.